Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Blackheart, the sign of black in again, asking you to hit that share button. Uh, thank you if you have hit like or subscribe, but you know the drill. I only request that you hit the share button and there's a good reason for it. And that is that we all benefit. That being said, um, as, uh, as a man, I have to keep my word. And I promised a response to Jessica in Light's comments. Uh, Jessica in Light wrote that uh, black women have a reason to be insecure. And that reason is that black women are the only women in the world that uh, have their natural counterpart chasing after other women to try to replace her. I beg to differ for this reason. It is actually Western women that have to worry about this phenomenon. There is no mass movement of uh, men in the country in which I visited recently to do this. There is no mass movement of men um, in Thailand to replace Thai women. Uh, there is no mass movement of men in the Dominican Republic to replace Dominican women. Now, what does happen is that in some Caribbean, English-speaking Caribbean nations, there are uh, movements of men who begin to not prefer their own women anymore because their own women are stiffer with them and the women from outside become nicer and more lenient. That does happen, but there is no movement in general except, again, in the West. And that is because of the same reason that some men in English-speaking uh, Caribbean nations have decided that they don't even want to deal with their own women anymore and they'd rather try to find a tourist woman. And that reason is that they are pushed away. Many women say, so what? Suck it up, deal with it. Rejection is a part of life. These women do not approach men. They will go after everything else in life except the man they want. And then they will say this particular line to men because facing rejection is men's job, not women's. Even when facing it is, um, is an unreasonable request due to the conditions under which it is faced or the type of rejection being faced. Not your standard run-of-the-mill declination, I decline, thank you, but rather that um, very loud capping uh, designed to embarrass you, designed to reinforce a low market value upon you type of rejection in which you are um, questioned in front of everybody else as to why you would even think that she might be interested. And that is what men face growing up because women's social capital is based upon how many men they turn down so a woman moves up socially by turning a man down in front of everybody else which proves that she has attention and then of course we both tend to outgrow these things um, both genders but as women who are adults become frustrated with uh, the choices and the selections that are approaching them then they have another incentive which is no longer just feigning anger in order to win social approval but now really a true anger and frustration at who's not approaching them versus who is i.e. being approached by the guys they don't want because the guys they do want are already taken by someone else that being said in the west western women black and white are pushing the men away and the men are responding by replacing them with non-western women now in a non-western context westernized women do the same thing but they're not seen as being replaced they're seen as an entity that is trying to replace the normal traditional woman that's not westernized yet i saw this on my last trip i just got back um I got back into the capital city of the country in which I live the day before yesterday, and I got back into the city in which I live with my wife 
this morning, right after midnight, or right right around midnight. Um, so today is my first full day back in this country in which I live, back in my city, well, back in the city in which I live. It's been a really jacked up Friday, y'all. I won't front. Um, but I still remember this promise. And Jessica in light, I wanted you to understand that I don't think that you're lying in what you say. Black people have been told for decades that our situation is unlike anybody else's without being told exactly in which ways it's unlike and in which ways it is like others. You see, we dealt with a unique combination of both the severity and duration. That's why our suffering is unique. Others have been through similar severity, believe it or not. Oh yeah, but the duration was short. Others have been through a similar duration, but the severity was less. We dealt with the severity and the duration. And one other thing is the, um, the lengths to which our repressors were willing to go to make sure it stayed this way. And that it never changed and improved. So in this regard, yes, it's unique. We went through roughly what the Rohingya are going through now, but we've been dealing with it for centuries. This, uh, just as an example. So, and then back home in the motherland, when they didn't go through kidnapping uh, and enslavement, they went through colonization and to a certain extent enslavement. So we have been through this by virtue of our race. And the people in Melanesia, who are also black, they've been through it for a shorter duration, but the rest of it's pretty much been about the same. And in all honesty, um, a lot of black people from Melanesia were kidnapped and then taken into Australia to be slaves because the original black Australians were not that easy to enslave. So <laughs> this is... Um, this is, to a certain extent, very unique to us. But it is not black women alone who everybody else who um, who is a, it's not black women alone that is being replaced with every other woman. It's not that. No, Western women are going through that. See, I listen to what the white MGTOWs talk about and I say, thank God, what the hell took so father mucking long? But I do listen and I learn. I don't learn it because I'm a friend of them. They've proven that they can't be our friends as a whole. Sydney MGTOW, I think, really doesn't mean anybody any harm. I don't think so. But the minute you tell the black Australians to take it back by force from the white Australians that aren't really Australians, he has to side with his people. So I don't expect him to turn against his own people for our sake. Now that's how I feel about the ones that I don't hate. But there are others of them that outright hate us. So no, I'm not their friend. We ain't cool. I listen to them. I spy on them. And I report back to you. Because I want us to know the chinks in their armor. Now that's a different story and that's a different recording. But the main thing I wanted to point out was that this is a Western woman phenomenon being replaced. But there's something else too. See, um... Mrs. Light also said, why not? Why would the black woman not have insecurity problems with um, self-esteem issues and insecurities? My response to that is not directed personally at you, Jessica, but my response to, the, to, to that whole question is, so goddamn fucking what? Men have reasons to have insecurities self-esteem issues with regards to women not all the time with everything in life but with regards to women we have that right there is nothing as difficult as trying to impress an attractive woman nothing else is just as difficult I mean you got men who can cooperate and they can uh, put up skyscrapers not that I consider that to be a hell of an accomplishment but men can do it when it comes to trying to impress women, there's, there's almost nothing men can do. 
all of a sudden the ones who actually build the skyscrapers are not impressive the one that sits in his office and designs it is the only one that's impressive and that's not because of the job he's done but because of how much he got paid to do it so the fact is that men have a reason you see like i said before we have to be superman just to get lois lane wonder woman's too good for anybody but no woman in the world is going to excuse a man's um, self-esteem issues or insecurities, even when men don't have them. How do I know? Now that's, that's something that I haven't heard anyone else say before, but I'm saying it. When men don't have self-esteem issues and insecurity issues, they just don't expect much from women. It is interpreted by women as uh, low self-esteem and low self-confidence and insecurity so that they can say something about this man. It can simply be that a man just has no expectations. I've been through that. I did not have expectations from women. I did not expect women to even admit when they did like me. Guess what? When I simply explained this to some dudes, some dudes, they were the ones to say, oh, you got low self-esteem, low self-confidence. But women co-signed it. I wasn't the only man to go through this. Other men simply said, I don't trust him. I expect him to do things in their best interest at our expense. And the women said, you got low self-esteem. You got no confidence. And these were men that had trust issues with women, not with themselves. You get it. These men did not have to actually have these problems for women to diagnose them as having these issues and never forgive them for it, no matter what any other women or how many other women did something similar to them for reasons no better than just their height. Something beyond their control, their income or lack of it. Well, you're not a high, you're not one of these men, you're not a high value man, so we're going to mistreat you, disrespect you, cheat on you, bring you somebody else's baby, and tell you you should raise it. And tell you that you're lucky we're with you at all, well, how could you expect us to not cheat? These are things that women have been saying to many men, or showing to many men. And the men if they did develop insecurities would be justified in it yet and still no woman would tolerate it and the minute a man justifies or the minute a man develops an insecurity or less than that merely an expectation that this will happen again it's unforgivable in him especially by attractive women and this is most men so I don't really care about the insecurities and the lack of self-confidence and the lack of self-esteem I'm not allowed to care about that. Why have them? That's why the hell it's called self-esteem. That was one of the things about which even a comedian, Cat Williams, was so spot on. Why should men have to have all this confidence and high self-esteem? Even to the point of, of being stupid enough to expect better from a, a block of the population that has shown they would never deliver this. Unless, of course... A man is just very lucky. They would never deliver this. Only to attract an entire gender that struggles with insecurity and self-esteem. You see, it's not only black women that struggle with this. There's women in general that struggle with it. When they have it, it's still fragile. I've had women tell me, Blackheart, you need to go easy on these women. Women are insecure creatures. I don't give a fuck because they don't give a fuck when men are not even insecure, when men just simply learn from patterns that repeat themselves. They want to diagnose. But then when women actually don't have a reason to be insecure and they're insecure, we're supposed to care. That's not the way this works. Gender equality means gender equality. So what if black women develop low self-esteem? I have a problem if they develop it and white women don't. But hey, look, white women got issues too. And I'll, I'm the first one that'll tell people, when you go cis bim, you still stay away from that white bitch. I'm the one that will say that. Others will say, get go wherever you're celebrated and not just tolerated. I'm the one that'll say, you ain't gonna be celebrated in, uh, in the white community and you ain't gonna be celebrated in any other ethnic community that takes the white community as a legitimate community. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. 
it's still white versus black. And you gotta act like it. And wherever some third group has chosen to side, you gotta treat them like it. Now, if I were to go to Malaysia, would I be celebrated? I already was. My wife was celebrated. So that's fine. We actually were celebrated not because we're black, but because we were friendly people who traveled a long way to get there and we showed that we appreciated what we had seen and who we met. We appreciated them being nice to us. That's why we were celebrated, it was personal. It wasn't just about the money, to be honest, because when I tried to pay extra to our guide who was actually a friend of ours, who grew close to us, he said, you've consistently overpaid. And I told him, man, I know, I understand that, but my wife would beat the shit out of me, or she would try to if I didn't. But that's better than a wife that would say, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, you, you, you need to take this off and take that off and give him what's left. That's, be that's better. Now, I'm, I'm fortunate too that I have a wife that comes from a, a generally healthy culture. Genu generally, for the most part of its history, it's been healthy. And do they need more Islam and less of their culture? Well, I've said that about every culture. But I'm fortunate in that regard, but what did I have to do in order to find her? I had to leave the United States and give up all hope of ever finding a black American Eidos FBA woman ever again. Now, I just knew that wasn't going to happen. And guess what? It didn't. Wasn't never going to happen again. And I haven't missed anything. At all. I've been through some stuff that I didn't need to go through, but that wasn't because of the woman, it was because of another government. I have never, since then, I've never had to deal with the same amount of stress. It's, they, they don't compare. And I'm not the only one that deals with this. So I'm going to continue to cape for CISPIM with the exception of the white women. Leave them alone and whoever thinks they're normal. But I'm going to continue to cape for that principle until you change who you are and how you are. I mean you collectively. I am never again going to advocate that we be loyal with regards to um, particular mating strategy. I'm never going to advocate for that again. You be loyal first, not us. I hope that I've answered and kept my promise. Nothing I've said is with any personal rancor. Assalamu alaikum.